Yeah, I'll show you how to pull codes from your 94, 95 Mustang. Like mine here. Uh, the method I'm going to do today is uh, jumping the self-test from the EEC right over here in the corner on the strut tower. So just find this. Uh, it has a cap on it. looks like that. Pull that off. And as you can see there, I already have it set up. But you want to find this in that second connector right there where the wire is sticking out of. Stick it in there. And then beside it, there will be a little gray plug like this one. Plug the other end of the jumper into that. And you're set. Right, you want to get back into the car. And this first test is going to be the, uh, the key on engine off test to pull the uh, stored codes. So what you want to do is get a little pad of paper like I got here. And get yourself a pen so you can write down the codes as they flash. Set it up right here. Okay. And then just turn the key to the on position. Don't start the engine. As you can hear the fan is going to kick on, your fuel pump's going to prime, and then it'll start flashing the codes. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Code 327. It's going to repeat this a couple times. Okay, and it looks like that's the end of the key on engine off test. So when you get to the end of that and it, it's read you all your codes, or flashed you all your codes, you're going to start the car and begin the key on engine running test. Don't hit the throttle or anything, just start the car and leave it alone. The RPMs are going to shoot up for two to three minutes and it's going to start spitting out the codes. So we'll go ahead and start that. Um, make sure that your jumper outside on the EEC box didn't come undone like mine just did a couple minutes ago. So, all right, here we go.
Alright guys, and that looks like about the end of the Keon engine running test. I'm gonna wait for the RPM to kick down. Now after this test, there is an optional, uh, another optional test you can do. It's a cylinder balance test. Basically what that does is uh, you floor the gas pedal for just a second to get it at wide open throttle. And what that does is it's going to go through and it's going to test all the cylinders to make sure they have the same amount of power. None of them, uh, they aren't running the same or something. So they're going to, what the computer is going to do is it's going to cut fuel and spark to each of the cylinders and record the RPM loss and do some calculations and it's going to tell you whether or not all the cylinders are firing the same and have the same amount of power. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Just one tap all the way open to the throttle and that will initiate the test. And after this test is over, it's going to flash another check engine code, and I'll explain that to you after the test is done. This could take anywhere from like two to three minutes, so we'll just see. I don't know if you can hear that from this camera, but you can hear the RPMs dropping and the uh, car sounds like crap. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure that concludes that test of the cylinder balance. And I got a 9, so that means that it's a system pass. All cylinders are running on the same compression. They all have the same amount of power. Uh, a cylinder didn't fail, so my engine's good to go. So now after that test is over, uh, you're safe to go ahead and shut the engine off. Alright, now I'll read to you... Uh, 
codes that I got from the, both the Keon engine off and the Keon engine running test. My handy little codes that I got here. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, one of the first codes I got with the engine off was a 327. So let's go find that here. And there it is right there, 327. DPFE or EVP circuit below minimum voltage of 0.2 volts. Basically what that is, is it's telling me that the EGR valve is not opening. But since I don't have an EGR valve, that doesn't surprise me. Alright, and uh, next it gave me a 314. That was when the uh, I was running the Keon engine running test. 314. Thermactor air system in cooperative left side. Not to get back to you guys on that one because I'm not really sure what that means. The next one was a 311. Air system in operative right side. Okay, and then it gave me a 327, which I already know is my EGR valve. And that was it for the Keon engine running. So altogether, I really only had three codes that was spitting out, and I'm pretty sure the other one has to do with the, the thermactor. I think that has to do with the EGR valve as well. Or maybe the smog pump. That's probably the smog pump. So... But, yeah, that was the, the results of both those tests. And now, after you've run the, both of those tests, uh, you can go ahead and take your jumper out if, you, if you're really done. So I just pull this out, pull that one out, set your jumper somewhere, and then put your EEC cap back on. And that was that'll be it for this video. I hope this guy this helps some of you guys that were wanting to run some of your codes. I'm gonna make a, a video and a little bit of uh, a check engine light problem I've been having. Mine stays on all the time because of uh, some stuff I've done to it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work to make the, to where that light isn't on constantly. But yeah, that'll do it for this video.